The NYPD says it has evidence linking the suspect in the shooting death of United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson to the crime. The defense attorney representing Luigi Mangioni says his client will plead not guilty. ABC's Rena Roy is following the developments from New York. New forensic evidence potentially linking 26-year-old Luigi Mangioni to the New York City crime scene, where United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson was gunned down one week ago. Police saying fingerprints recovered from a water bottle and granola bar found at the scene match the fingerprints taken from Mangioni in Altoona, Pennsylvania, where he was arrested Monday. The gun police say they found on Mangioni also linking him to the scene. We were able to match that gun to the three shell casings that we found in Midtown at the scene of the homicide. A judge denying bail, Mangioni fighting extradition to New York where he faces second degree murder charges. Mangioni's defense attorney says he plans to plead not guilty to those charges. We've seen no evidence. Uh, that's one of the many reasons why we're um, uh, challenging the extradition at this point so we can uh, see some evidence and get a little more detailed information about the uh, charges against uh, Luigi. Law enforcement officials telling ABC News when Mangione was arrested, he had a spiral notebook with writings about planning to kill Thompson. Writing in part, what do you do? You whack the CEO at the annual parasitic bean counter convention, seemingly referring to the investors conference Thompson was walking into when he was shot. Sources say detectives are still examining Mangione's writings, but are considering the contents of the notebook to represent a possible confession. Pennsylvania investigators have also started interviewing members of Mangione's family, who he seemed to have been estranged from. His mother filing a missing persons report last month, according to law enforcement sources. Since the killing, corporate executives have faced increased threats of doxing, targeted harassment and violence, according to a law enforcement bulletin obtained by ABC News. The document includes a photo of this banner draped on a highway overpass that includes the words deny, defend, depose. The same words police said were found on shell casings at the scene of Thompson's murder. New York's governor says she'll sign the governor's warrant from the Manhattan District Attorney, an effort to force extradition from Pennsylvania to New York. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.